Fellow service team members of Tide Point, welcome to our third quarter 2021 all employee meeting. Hopefully this will be our last virtual meeting that we'll ever have to do ever. <laughs> the good news for all of us is that we were able to reverse the mask mandate for employees working in independent living who are vaccinated. So unvaccinated employees working in independent living will still be required to wear a KN95 mask. But for the rest of us, I will be happy to see your smiles around the campus. Today's meeting, we will have many exciting things coming including random appreciation prize drawings. And we will do one for $25 right now. Sydney will bring me the yellow flowered bucket and I'll reach in and get a name out of it. And that name is Tawana Smalls. Hey. You wanna keep that? Yes. Okay, Tawana Smalls, you just won $25. And now, Sydney will talk to us about current openings, referral bonuses, and she will describe the Talent Scout program and current referral amounts, which are generous. Sydney, it's all yours. Thank you. Hi everyone, I wanted to speak with you about the Talent Scout program that we have. Um, we are temporary, temporarily offering a higher referral bonus. Um, this is going through the end of November and for part-time employees we normally offer 400. We're offering 500 for referral and for full-time for um, we are offering, we normally offer 750 and we're offering a thousand. Um, so please continue to share our openings um, with your friends, family, um, and let them know what we have available. Um, we currently have 12 positions open at this time. Um, on the Tide Point Living side, we have four. Um, we have full-time and part-time servers. We also have a line cook and we have a part-time floor tech. And in regards to the care center, we currently have eight positions open. We have full-time and part-time dietary culinary aides. We also have a position open for certified dietary manager. We have a lifestyle assistant position, certified nursing assistant for part-time, as well as a licensed practical nurse for nights and also a registered night nurse. Um, we also have PRN opportunities available for LPNs, CNAs, and RNs. Uh, we will be posting this and putting it in the break room so that you can take it with you and share the positions. Um, we'll also be emailing it out to Cabinet um, so that they can share that with you. Thank you. Is it my turn still? You and me. Thank you. Hi everybody, Lisa Malkowitz here. The third quarter was a very active time for employee referrals. We appreciate all the referrals of great applicants. And we have several th that will be participating in our $100 quarterly raffle for the Talent Scout program. Uh, the individuals in there are John Ward, who's a wellness RN, Joy Lawson, Director of Lifestyle Services, Lynn Ovalman Concierge, Phyllis Neville, Executive and Sales Assistant, and Sharon Stewart, Server. Let's see who wins. And the winner is Joy Lawson, Director of Lifestyle Services. Hey. Thank you, Joy. Okay. Again, we're excited to present this to you virtually. I know folks had a lot of fun with it laughing when I tripped over cords last time. I'll try not to do that again. Uh, which y'all have talked about the Talent Scout $100 gift card drawing. So we've done that. 
Okay, let's do a random one for $25. And that one goes to Nanaya Aguo, Yay. Director of Assisted Living in the Care Center. Congratulations, Nanaya. And now, Sydney would like to talk about new hires, new employees who have started since July 1st. Sydney? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I want um, to give a warm welcome, um, and please make sure that you, um, if you haven't already met these individuals, please um, please do so. Um, we want to welcome them to our team. We have hired um, Tiana McCoy, who was a server in August. We also hired Sierra Wright as an LPN in August. We hired Dolores Doe, who is a CNA. Angel Ross, who is an LPN. Kimberly Ussery, who is a culinary aide. And Michelle Ritchie. All of those employees were hired in August. In September, we hired Charles Mitchell as a driver. Will Graves as a concierge. And October was a big month for us. We hired Marcy Bates as a concierge in the care center. We also hired Danielle Beal as a CNA. We hired Christina Perry as a kitchen attendant. Megan Cunningham as a concierge on Tide Point side. Marquita Wright as a CNA. Eileen Green as a housekeeper. Sharon Murphy as a housekeeper. And Tawana Smalls as a CNA. In the month of November so far, we have hired Edwin Martinez, who's our sous chef. We've also hired Joanne Cudahy, who is our staff um, accountant. We've hired Santiago Fields as one of our servers. We've also hired Stephanie Caruso as an LPN, and Nancy Colby as a concierge on the Tide Point side. Welcome to Tide Point. Tom? Thank you. Okay, now we will do two $25 drawings for lucky employees. There's one, and that one will be Mitch Mitchell. Yay. Mitch is a driver, and we welcome Mitch to the team. And Mitch, I'll be uh, waiting for your invitation for lunch. <laughs> All right, and then also we have Teresa McCouchy Lopez. She is uh, relatively new and in the care center, and she will win $25 just for existing. <laughs> okay, and now Lisa Malkowitz, our Director of Human Resources, can't wait to talk about. W-2s, addresses, exempt withholding, and W-4s. Lisa, I'm glad it's you, not me. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. All employees have a, a couple of housekeeping items to do related to payroll and tax withholding. You would have received a memo about this in October to whatever email you have in my ADP. So hopefully you're keeping those emails updated. Um, so all employees have to make sure that their addresses, names, and social security numbers are correct in my ADP. If the only address you have listed in there is a PO box address, please make sure to list it as your mailing address, but still include a street address so that you can receive any W-2s or checks that are owed to you. Also, all employees need to review their W-4 elections, their withholdings as they apply to you, and update those. The deadline is December 17th. Employees claiming to be exempt from any tax withholding need to complete a new withholding exemption form by February 12th, or we will need to um, designate them as non-exempt from any tax withholding. So if you have any questions, come see Human Resources. We would be uh, glad to guide you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. 
And now we're going to do a bigger one, another random drawing for you, my favorite service team members. This one will be for $50. Let me make sure I got that right. Yes, I did. Okay. That one feels like a winner. Teresa Fennell. Teresa recently moved to the maintenance department to try to keep them in line and we'll see how she does. So Teresa, congratulations on your $50. I know my Christmas present will be bigger now. And now we will talk about the nominees for the employee of the third quarter for 2021 and we have some great ones in there. Really terrific group of eligible employees. We had five nominations and we'll have one big winner. Nominated by a coworker, when there was a need, this employee immediately volunteered to provide coverage at the care center she worked in the morning at the clubhouse and then worked in the afternoon and the early evening in the care center. It's a great example of teamwork and we really appreciate concierge Susan Vick for stepping up. That was wonderful. Also, in the transportation department, this employee learned and helped navigate a new system for tracking accurate mileage, he trained the lead driver on the new system in Excel so that accurate records could be provided. And this is Jack Passarello, driver for the transportation department. Also nominated, number three. This employee was leaving work after a shift, saw a car out front with a distraught member help, trying to help a spouse. They helped calm the distraught member and offered help, then contacted the director of member services who was able to speak with the member and get a calm situation and then uh, adult children arrived to help and this employee went above and beyond by not rushing to leave after her shift and taking time to help the member. And that person is Donna Noble, concierge. Number four, nominated by residents. This couple transitions to the care center. However, while their home was on the market, the employee picked up and consistently delivered mail personally to them in the care center daily. The couple witnessed what a caring person this employee is and they are deeply appreciative of his consistency and caring. Mikael Green in the housekeeping department. We all know Mikael. He greets us every day. Okay, and lastly, the last nominee of the five, this employee went door to door taking dinner orders from members who could not call the concierge desk one day when the telephones were down. She did this even though her shift had ended. And that is Vicki Thace, concierge. So we've had some great concierge action this quarter and the winner is Donna Noble concierge if you don't know Donna stop by almost any evening at the uh, concierge desk and you will be able to uh, greet Donna and tell her congratulations for being the third quarter winner employee and this is Donna's Check. Donna, try not to spend it all in one place. We thank you. And next on our agenda is 
Another $50 drawing followed quickly by a $100 drawing. The big one, I hope. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got two. So this one's going to be the $50. Annabelle Wright, CNA. Annabelle used to work in the uh, dining room as a server and then got her license as a CNA. And Annabelle's been with us for many years. Congratulations, Annabelle, on your $50. And now the $100 winner is Rex Daly. Rex is a CNA at the Care Center, does a beautiful job. And uh, Rex, congratulations on your $100 winnings. Okay. We congratulate all of the prize winners and also uh, the nominees for the third quarter. We really appreciate your extra and above work. And don't forget, coming up in December 17th, at 2.30 in the ballroom, we will have our end of the year employee function in which you uh, eligible employees, which means hourly non-bonus employees, will receive their appreciation fund checks and celebrate a great end of the year here at Tide Point. Uh, We'll see you all there, and that's Friday, December 17th, here in the ballroom live, unless something bad happens. Please continue to be careful, uh, to socially distance, and to wear masks anytime you might get nervous. So we thank you. Peace and love.